The first word uh, we want to think about is something called total available market. And I like to think of total available market as a pie. It's the entire pie. Total available market says, look, how many people or companies or whatever your unit of sale is would want or need this product and how large is the market in dollars or units if they all bought? That's just a pretty nice uh, calculation. And the question is, okay, uh, how would I find out? In uh, different industries, there are analysts that specialize in vertical markets and enterprise software. It's Gartner and Forrester. In uh, video games, it's the MPD group. In um, consumer research, it's Nielsen. Uh, if you want to understand how many uh, webs and mobile startups are, you go to the Startup Genome Project, etc. So you need to ask some questions is, which industry analysts kind of follow your specific domain? And then also Wall Street analysts follow competitors in this business. And, uh, that is, they follow who's ever public. And in fact, some of them write very nice research reports. If you have access to a university library or a friendly broker, you could great, uh, get a great free industry uh, analyst report. And I would be asking others as well, and Google is your best friend here. I truly would be spending time trying to understand is this a billion dollar market? And by the way, if you throw out those numbers, the first thing I'm going to ask you is, well, that's nice, but break it down for me. You know, help me understand how many users, who are the players, what are the competitors, etc. You need to understand this total available market pie in some detail before I'll let you get to the next step. And the next step is, how big is my slice? And we tend to use a fancy word for that is, what's the served available market? And the served available market means, okay, well, instead of the theory that there are 7 billion people in the world, how many people really can use a you know, mobile app? Oh, well, a mobile app is kind of dependent on how many people have mobile smartphones. And gee, if I'm making the mobile app for, let's say, an Android platform, then the first question is, how many theoretical people are going to be using you know, Android platforms in this year and the next five? Oh, now I could start estimating what's my served available market. And so how many people have the money to buy the product? That is, are you a 99 cent product or are you a $99 product? Now you're narrowing the market based on pricing or availability and you want to do some thought experiments, like how large would the market be in dollars if they all bought? If everybody in the served available market bought, how, how large would this be? And this is kind of your first test to say, oh, or wow. And so you want to understand this both for dollars and units. And how do you find out? Well, this is one where you're really out of the building and talking to customers. And then I think of this again, using the pie analogy, the first step was trying to understand the number of people in the world, but now we can narrow it down if I have an Android app to the number of Android phones, uh, capable phones, and then down to, well, how many would buy at my price? But now we really want to get pretty specific. Who am exactly am I going to sell in years one, two, and three? How many customers is that? How large is the market if they all bought? That is, what we now are coming up with is the total number of dollars. If you had 100% market share, your revenue isn't going to exceed this number. And how many units would that be? Again, how do I find out? Boy, this is really about getting out of the building and talking to customers and talking to potential channel partners and talking to competitors, etc. You really, at the end of this exercise, now have a first pass hypothesis about, is this business model canvas worth executing? for the next couple of years.